How is it going everyone? My name is Rose Guy, and today we'll be having a lot of fun with God of War VMAX. So God of War VMAX over here is from Champion's Path and is a card based all around healing. So what it does is max Q 180 damage for 3 energies to Psychic 1 uh, Colonus and heals 50 from this Pokemon. Which seems like it's not enough, but it does make a big difference that 50 heal. You can combine it with something like Suspicious Footing, you can even stack for Suspicious Footing in a lot of turns like you could do it twice which would heal 160 plus 50 210 healed just by two items i mean it is ridiculous and then you have things like mellow and lana which could heal 120 and then you have some other cards based around healing and getting rid of special conditions like pokemon center lady so it could ramp up pretty quickly without healing and the reason why you want to heal is to make sure that they have to two shot you before you actually get knocked out which would mean that you will be dealing 360 damage which would probably knock the opponent out which is something i really like about this deck it is so fun it is a lot of fun to just heal your pokemon all the way and how are we going to heal this pokemon well you might ask that and i will explain it so we have Rose. Rose here gets two energies from your uh, basic energies from your dis discard pile and attaches it to one of your VMAX Pokemon, being of course God of War VMAX. What? Why would you um, attach energies? Well, first of all, acceleration, and second of all, it's to get those energies that you discard with Suspicious Food in back. You could say you can add Hype Potion to this deck, and I am not sure, but you could do that probably. You could just fit it in, uh, maybe re um, replace one of these big charms, two of these maybe. I'm, I'm certain it's a very good choice because, I mean, you discard two energies and you get two energies back. But, um, it's a little bit too many energies to discard. I, I don't, I'm not really sure if I want it. So that's why there's no Hyper Potion over here, but the Suspicion Putin does the job. It is a great card. Now we'll go over all the cards individually. So we run two Type No being a 2-2 line for Sylvala GX and this Sylvala GX here is meant to go with Rose. So this Disc Reload um, is an ability that makes you draw 5 cards until you... Uh, no, makes you draw cards until you have 5 in the hand, sorry. So it means that you draw 5 cards after Rose, using Rose because Rose discards your whole hands. So that's just a perfect combo. So you just use Rose, you use Disc Reload as an ability and there you go with your turn. It's a great, great combo. And since these suspicious Putins get um, energies in the discard pile, it is also a perfect match for Rose because it gets the energies out of the discard pile. So it just all connects together. It's amazing. Then we have one Krogan V and one Delena GX. Extra draw, always handy. Then we have a 3-3 tree -tree line of Gardevoir V Max. We will be likely to use two Gardevoir V Max in the game which is totally fine. You also have to um, be aware that of its weakness steel. I will get on that later. Then we have 4 Evolution Incense, important for God of VMAX and Silver GX. It is just a card that we really need in this deck. It can't function without God of VMAX or Silver I will um, I will mention though, God of V is, uh, has an attack Swelling Pulse, which is 120 plus 80 if it was healed this turn. So that means you can be dealing 200, and, uh, 200 damage for three energies which is decent and could maybe win you the game so that's why this card is also a great card on its own actually then we have four quick balls which is important to get type null throw out the dna card of rp then we have the healing item of course the suspicious food tin this is a great card to have here it's like a no-brainer it's really good trading one energy for 80 hp that's just a real good good trade then we run two switches in case we start off with something else, we don't want to be retreating with self ally, and we also don't want to start off with something else stuck in the access spot. Then we have three Rose Towers. These are the extra draw that you want. So after using Rose, you can use this tower to get three cards in the hand, use those items slash just energies, and then you use your self ally to get even more draw. So that way you will be drawing about like seven cards maybe. So that's that's a good thing. So the reason why it's here is just it's a backup in case you don't have your self ally, and it is a counter stadium. Plus, it could give you more draw. 
So that's the whole reason why we have the Rose Tower, which are three copies in this deck. And then we have two bosses order. This could be important because our damage output is very low. So we really want to be able to knock those last Pokemon out that we already hit. Because if we do hit for 180 and they retreat into something else that's fresh, then we could be in trouble. And they could repeat that over and over again until they have no Pokemon left without any damage counters on them. So the bosses order are important. They could really help you out in a lot of tight spots. Now we have two Melon Alana. These Melon Alanas here not only switch your Pokemon, but also heal your Pokemon. If you discard two cards from your hand, you heal 120 damage. That's a lot. That's really a lot. Combine that with Max Cure and you, are, you will be healing 170 damage. That's a lot. Then we have uh, sorry, four Marnies, and these Marnies are just Hand, Disturb, and Extra Draw, which is always good. Then we have two for, uh, Pokemon Center Ladies. Now, I could say you can swap these out with Hyper Potions, but I do like the Pokemon Center Lady, um, which is why I use it. Uh -huh. And she's also a very underplayed card that has been in the, uh, BT, uh, in the card trading card game for a while now, since I think, oh wait, 2014 now. Well, yeah, it's just a classic character uh, as well, so and it's a good card to have here. You will be ramping up into 110 healing with this and the God of War without any suspicious boot in, so that's still a lot. And we have two Professor's Researchers. These are just aggressive draw in case we can use them. We will. If we don't need to, then we won't, so that's why there are two. And we run three Roses. We won't be using four because, I mean, that's a little overkill. Uh, using three seems like a balanced option if we really want to focus on Rose. Then, yeah, three seems a good option. Now we have two Big Charms, and the Big Charms here are important to make sure that your Pokemon won't get one shot. Plus, it is just to make your Pokemon extra bulky, it will help you out once you heal. You will be safe from another one shot easier if you use this big charm. So yeah, that's a good card to have it. Then we use two weakness cards because we really don't want to get hit by weakness. That will mean that we can't heal anything. We will. It, it won't make a difference if we get hit by weakness because it's just double. It's insane. And since we have a colorless spot, we can just might as well use the weakness card. And the weakness is steel. I mean metal, which is something like Sashen, Luke Metal, it is not a good weakness. It is a very, like, it's used a lot and we can't use that. So that's why there are two weakness guards here. Make sure to keep these in your deck in case you see that you have a steal, all right? So yeah, that's why it's here. Otherwise your healing won't be of any help. And then we in total run 12 Psychic Energies. So yeah, those that was the deck and we shall move on to the gameplay. I hope you all will enjoy the gameplay from this deck because I really like the deck. Cheers, lads. Alrighty, our first match with God of War VMAX for the video. So they use a, a Charizard VMAX deck box. I mean, I'm not really a fan of that box to be honest. So that's Champion's Path, which is our sad actually. I've never really been a fan of Charizard, but yeah. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, so we start off with a Rose. Poké Center Data, uh, Mallow Lana, God of a Max, and two energies being one uh, weakness guard. That's actually very good, wow. Starting off with God of RV is always good. It means that you will be almost guaranteed to get a good start with your typings. It's just a bulky start and I mean you need your God of War V Max in the front anyway, so. Right, so we'll be having a slower start uh, if you look at the energies, but we'll get there. We can be pulling a lot of um, early pressure by using something like um, the Swanny Pulse, but we have this, so I'm not sure what I want to do. Mm. I mean, dealing 30 damage won't make a difference at all. Wait, wait. No, the Charizard has 370 HP. 170, 170 HP, so I'm not sure. Well, it's not really a waste, is it? But it also gives him a chance to just put a Charizard in front. Ah, I don't care. Just deal with it. Alright, we need to get something to draw energies. Or something to... Or just an energy top deck, please. Because otherwise we are a little bit in trouble. 
This is of course one of the things yeah, you can just have when you are running something like healing. You get all the scars when you don't need it. It's the same with switch. You get a switch and yeah, you only get switches even though you don't have any other Pokemon. In any case, he just um, got rid of his Charmander in play, so he needs to wait another turn to evolve. That's great. And in the process, also discarded an energy, so that's a good start. And we are screwed. This is, this is sad. Very, very sad. Okay, this is a very slow start, lads. Can happen. Perhaps we need more cards that get us the basics. So he goes and uses prime, uh, prime, primate wisdom. I am thinking he will get something like a rare candy and a char in Charmander. Uh, Charizard, sorry. That's a Charmeleon. Okay. All right, it's all again our turn. Okay, so he is giving us a chance. All right, let's get started with all this damage. I don't think he will be able to ever one-shot us unless he gets like set up all the way. By the way, we have a great hand, so we get our Rose, we get our Type Null, Rose Tower, I'm, I'm talking about that. Uh, and we didn't get an energy, but we can use this Quick Ball to get something that we need. Uh, I think we will go for the Crowbar V. So first of all, we put this down, we draw one card, that's Professor's Research, great. And now we will draw until we get, oh my god, still no, oh my god, this is just terrible. Okay, good. luckily we drew our last Dene as well. Please give us an energy, Jesus Christ, that was so sad. Never seen that before. Anyways, we're still good, no worries. Okay, so we were lucky to finally pull one psychic energy holy shit so that means that our like like one third of the deck right here is just psychic lovely well i don't think he will be able to pull from this so he has discarded a boss order great by the way, I wanted to talk about the 100 subs, so we recently just like gained something like 5 subs in 2 days. That was insane, I have no idea how it went, how it happened, but yeah, that was great. So now we have 91 subs lads, 91, that's insane, it is really insane. And I can't thank anyone enough, like everyone here, thank you so much, but I mean it doesn't mean much right. Uh, but when I do hit 100 subs, there are some plans coming up, and he just conceded, alright. So that was a really, really bad match, but yeah, I have to keep to my promise, first match goes in first. So this was the first match, lads, lads cheers, and I'll be moving on from my topic again. Alright, this is our next match, lads, the second one. So what I was saying about uh, 100 subs, so I uh, have some surprises, more than one, by the way. So there will be some sort of an opening, then there will be some sort of a giveaway, and then there will be some sort of opening, but in real life. And then there will be something else, a face reveal. So yeah, the face reveal will be happening when I get 100 subs. It has been arranged in the Discord server. By the way, feel free to check out the Discord server. It is a lovely place. And oh my god, I'm so pleased with what I'm seeing right now. I see a Beldum. He is using Metagross. I hope it's the one from Vivid Voltage, I have no idea if there are any other Metagrosses, but oh boy, I'm happy to see this. Now I'm very curious as to what he will bring up. So he uses this Stun Fisk with Counter Attack. Hmm. Right. Okay, so what we can see right here is that we are actually alright with our first turn. Mm -hmm. What I will do now is get rid of this Melamalana. I don't, um, don't want to risk losing that energies those energies I know we have a rose which could help us out later but I'm scared that we won't do anything like top decking energies just like last turn uh, last match because that's just a little scary all right so he will go and attack with oh yeah don't forget this is our weakness I just forgot and right, that's our resistance wow okay that's perfect Alrighty, so let's just put that there, this one there, 
And let's see what we pull with this crowbar V. Now we were called by God. No, no never mind. <laughs> I'm not religious. Uh, I was just kidding about around. We just top decked the weakness God. A turn before we were going to put down God of our V Max entrance. So we are safe. We can't get like one shot by anything. I mean, we wouldn't be one shot by anything, and anyways. Okay, no, this seems like a really weird deck. Really weird one. So, what I see is darkness and steel. Oh, yeah, I should have seen from the deck box. Okay, that's a weird combo. Well, uh, that's sad to see. We have our only two switches in the hands, so there's no type null. Yeah, those damage counters won't do much. And we've got a rose. Hey. So, we'll, yeah. What I'm gonna do after the he uses that attack is I'm gonna switch out an, an energy on the Dene. And yeah, that's it. Oh wow, we have two silver allies in our hands. Amazing. So, switch out. Retreat. Can't use Rose now. It's just too painful. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's be dominant. Oh, too bad this is such a like weak deck. I mean, it seems like it. Maybe it's just having bad pulls or something. But from what I can see, it is uh, one of the starter decks. Like it's a deck that you, you would make when you're new to Pokemon. Lugia. Charging up the Lugia. Mate, you're playing team. Yeah, it seems like that. Man, this is such a shame. Wow. Well, I ho really hope this, the third match will be something to show you all the power of God of War V Max. Because this is just super shame. Let's go! Last match. So, this is the third match of the video. And I hope this will be something competitive. And it does seem like it. It seems like something that would peak a room be. Would be peak a room. Or just any other electric type. Maybe Raikus. Ooh. Can't wait to face something like a Raikou, mate. Okay, we have a, an alright start, yeah. So that type null. And I'll quick ball as well. And then the Dene. And for us, oh yeah. That's interesting. Luckily, its damage output is not that high, so we are safe from dying that way. Okay, so what we can do here is, I'm going to actually discard an energy. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should research. No, that's a waste for my time. Oh, and he has a big hand. Okay, no, it's better to just use a Marnie. But I'm scared of the Marnie. Because I'm scared I won't be any top decking any of those energies. So let's just get rid of this quick ball and let's get it. God of our V. Alright. And what I will do now is attach energy onto the God of War and use a money. Okay, let's see what we told like. Weakness God, big charm. Okay, uh, not much of any help for now. But it will do. It will certainly do. Ooh, we could have. No, never mind. Never mind, he's just gonna paralyze us. I mean, confuse us. Do 50. No, that's not much. We should be safe. He goes for research. Okay, interesting. Let's have a look. Oh my, that's. That's some solid shit. Uh, sorry for the swearing, by the way. He did throw away a power plant. Because he uses chaotic swells. Bro, why, why even use chaotic swells and power plant? I mean, it, it's weird. Okay, it's weird. So yeah, this would be a big problem for Silvalli because that blocks the ability of Silvalli. But glad he just threw it away. And it is a room indeed. Using, oh my, that's a Shinx, mate. That's gonna be interesting later. Okay, so we get a rose tower and we get nothing else this is a, a big shame this is really a big shame oh man well what we can do is use boss and just disturb his plants 
Yeah, sure thing, bro. Let's get this Pika Romy print. Now you're in big trouble, unless you have something like a switch. Very likely though, he has a lot of cards in his hands. All we need is that one Silver Ally. One Silver Ally and we, we are safe from any dead at hands. Goes on and attaches an energy there. Use the money. Thank you so much for that. Now we get some fresh hands. Well, I say hands, but it's just four cards. But it is a little bit bigger than we had before. So I see two roses and a big charm. He will retreat into. Oh boy, this is bad. This is really bad, lads. What can I do now? Nothing I can do about it. What a shame. Should have known though. Well, yeah, we could try. Why are we top decking such lame stuff? This is really sad. Oh, boy. Alright, so yeah. I wonder what he will do now. And I hope he top decks something good. Because we are in trouble here. A big trouble. He goes and uh, confuses us again. We do get a God of War VMAX. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's 50 damage healed. And the confusion is gone. Perfect. What a timing. Great. <laughs> and once that uh, God of War will get knocked out, we will get our... Uh, energy is in a discard pile, and we can just use it to get our second guard of our VMAX charged with Rose. Well, Rose is gone now. Maybe we top deck another one. Who knows? Nope, but we do get uh, an evolution incense and an energy. So that's good. We do get our energy drop and a switch in case he bosses us out. So for now, what I can tell is that we are kind of screwed if you're talking about damage. Because he will deal 150, we heal 10, and we heal 50 from that. He just discarded power. He, he, uh, in other, anyway, we healed 50 from that, which means that we have... Never mind, we are safe. We are safe from any 2 damage, 2 hits. We are in some sort of trouble though, if you are looking at some other stuff. Right, so we need to keep our God of War safe. Yep, this should be our turn. So we heal 50 and he can't um, kill us again. As soon as the 20. And he heals 200 max, which he will do now. And there's the Luxray, and he shall use that now again. Uh, now, I think. Which would deal 160 damage. You never see this Luxray play, man. But I, I love it. I love to play with something that just raids. Either way, 160 damage coming in. If we get a Rose now, that would be great. We could just switch out, or something to heal, at least. Ah, he goes and bosses. Okay. He thinks he is slowing us down that way. No, he wants to... Okay, he wants to take all the prizes all at once. Good to see, good to see. And we did get a rose. The game heard my call. Well, we are screwed in a way. Do you know what? No. So what we could do is heal our Pokemon. Because the Amphras is gone. Because once this is dead, he will attach an energy. And deal 200 damage here, which wouldn't knock us out. And then proceed to deal 170 to this Pokemon, which would knock this Pokemon out. If we retreat into this, out of this, which would give us energies, we could use the Rose. So, I think we should do that to prevent any knockouts. Yeah. Good. 
We didn't have much in our hand anyway, so that's a good news. And he can't knock us out again. We are safe. 10 damage off. 10 damage off, lads. <laughs> and we told... Oh my god, this is just... <laughs> Look at this. We just got a Crobat V in a literally empty hand. Okay, so you go for the knockout. 1, 2, that's 150. That is then 2 more. That's perfect. Well played, dude. Now we need to pray that we get something like a boss's order and a rose. Oh no, we can't. We will be losing. Well played. What a move. How did it get so many energies there, though? Oh well. Okay, so we do get this first. So let's just do that. This is a really difficult spot for me. Because we need rose. We really need rose. Oh man. Alright. Go for it. We still have a Dedenne to use. Wait, no, we can't put that. We can't afford to put down a Dedenne. That's just too scary. And we are still. Yep, it's game, mate. It is game. We can't do anything about this. We, we really can't do anything about it. All I can do now is. Use this Pokemon Center Lady. Because if I put down a Dedenne, he would just treat, use Attack Bolt, and we're done for. What I will do though is put down a Type Null. Perhaps I will lurk out his big giant Picarum. And yeah, I have to pass. I sadly have to pass. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight energies. That's eight multiplied by part three, which is 240. And we are safe. Okay. Unless he has something like Toa Patches, we should be safe. Let's just see how much he did last time. 220. No, 250 then. What? Oh, yeah, it's 10 plus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't wrong. But this, his deck is a really weird one, not gonna lie. Oliana. Sonia. It, it's just random cards that he uses for some reason. It does work out. It does work out though. With these tool scrappers, they really nailed us with that. What is he doing? So all we need is a boss's order. So we have one left in our deck. Once we get the Silvala, Silvala uh, online though, we could be, be safe. We could be winning. Because what I can see right now is that he has a boss in his hand. Which puts us in the danger zone. Okay, we get our last energy that we needed. Then we can use the Silvala. Come on man, we need to be able to pull this off. Nope, none. That's nothing. Okay, let's just empty this out. Then draw. With this reload. Oh man, this is so tense. We do not get it. We didn't get it, lads. It's game. We'll play it. Broken heart. Yeah, we, we really didn't draw many things that whole game. Huge shame. Perhaps. Okay, wait, so if I heal, 200 damage. Okay, I can, what I can do is retreat into Silvalli. Because he can take a hit. So then, oh no, never mind. I'm dead and either way, I'm dead either way, you would just boss, oh, boss out the damn crowbar. Oh, damn, maybe I, uh, maybe I. This is wrong. Oh, man, I don't know. Should have used the money or something. Oh, man. Well played. Damn man, that's that's sad. That's sad. Oh yeah, and either way, he could have just killed the Silvella because of bolted gods. 
Oh man, it came all down to this one last pull. Yeah, that's sad. Well, A, it was a match. It was a match. A fair game, fair game. So yeah, if you all enjoyed this video, please leave a like and check out the Discord server if you want to. Then subscribe as well and comment down below if you have any suggestions for me about any decks or cards that you would like to see or hear my opinion about. And yeah, I hope you all, I will see you all in the next video. Cheers lads and have a